Hey folks, this is NDG Labs with Video Excel here with another great tutorial in Excel 2010. In this tutorial, we're going to go over some quick navigation shortcuts uh, that will help you move around the spreadsheet, also multiple tabs, and also multiple work workbooks. So before we get started, I do want to point out that uh, you know we do have our YouTube channel up. Just uh, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. We have a lot of tutorials on Excel, so I'm just hoping that you guys will learn something, or it may be something that that may interest you, and it may even make your life easier. Okay. So let's get back to the tutorial. All right, so I'm going to start out with this uh, spreadsheet. What we have here is uh, just some data. We have a title, um, something in cell A1. So this first shortcut that I'm going to go over is going to help you navigate uh, to multiple sections in your worksheet. Um, let me go ahead and kind of give you a quick example. So let's just say that you're in cell A1 and you wanted to go to the bottom of the sheet. All you have to do is just hold Control and then the down arrow key and it will take you to the, the very last cell in that column. Uh, you can do the reverse, you can hit control and then up arrow and it will take you to the first cell. Now it works a little bit different if you're in a cell that actually has data because we don't have any data in cell, uh, actually in column A, anything, anything below uh, cell A1. Uh, let's just say I was in uh, row 4 and if I hit control and the right arrow key, uh, see how the tab is going to move to uh, cell D4 because that's where it actually found some data and it's just going to go ahead and stop there. If I hit control and right arrow key one more time, it's just going to take me to the end of the spreadsheet. Okay, and then come back and uh, let's just try it on, on columns. It works pretty much the same way. If I'm in cell F1, if I hit control and the down arrow key, it takes me to the first cell that actually has some data. And if I do it one more time, you'll see it'll go to the cell that has a value of 88 and 15. And then if I go to the very bottom, it's just going to take me to the very end of the spreadsheet. Okay, I could be anywhere in the spreadsheet. And if I hit control and home, it will always take me to cell A1. So I could be like right here. And if I hit control home, it'll just move the cell uh, or the selection to uh, A1. Similarly, if I wanted to go to the end of the spreadsheet, all I have to do is uh, just uh, hit control and end. Now notice how Excel identifies the uh, end of the spreadsheet. The limits of the spreadsheet in this case are all the cells where we actually have some data and this will be the intersection of your last row and the uh, last column. In this case we have uh, G and we have 16 so this is the intersection of the last row and the last column that we have in the spreadsheet so this pretty much marks the end of our working area that we have. Um, obviously you can go to, to other cells. Um, so let's go ahead and give it a quick try. Uh, let's just say I'm right here and if I wanted to go to the end of the spreadsheet I will just hit control and end and notice how the, the selection just moved to cell G16. Also I could be over here um, outside of my working area and if I hit control end it will take me back to the intersection of the last row and the intersection of the last column. I could do the same thing by hitting F5 and uh, with F5 you can go to special and you can say hey just take me to the last cell and hit, hit OK it's going to take you to cell G16. Actually let's just go ahead and give that a quick try. Uh, let's do special last cell and notice how the selection just moved to G16. Another great uh, shortcut that always comes in handy is the selection tool and uh, what that does is that let's just say if I'm I've, if I was in um, column D I wanted to make a selection all I have to do is just uh, hit control spacebar and it selects the entire column um, and similarly if I just wanted to select a row uh, let's just say row number nine all I have to do is uh, hit shift and spacebar and it selects the entire row so when I'm working in Excel um, especially uh, when you're working with multiple sheets it's uh, you know you can you can move your mouse all the way down and then you can browse to these uh, these different sheets that you have but a quick way of navigating th through those uh, sheets is to uh, hold down the control button and then hit 
page up or page down depending on where you are. So if I hit the control button and I hit page down, notice how it's going to cycle through the multiple sheets that I have. I'm actually hitting page up right now. If you wanted to move around uh, between the workbooks, what you can do is hit control and tab. It will switch to another workbook. So let's go ahead and give that a try. Control tab. Actually, I didn't have the window selected, so control tab. And you can see it's now a new workbook uh, with three new uh, sheets in it. But you can always go back to the, the old one, just hit control tab and it takes you to your previous uh, previous workbook, the, the one that we were working with. Another quick navigation shortcut um, that I use often is the Alt and Page Up and Page Down combination. So let's just say I can look at columns A through S in my spreadsheet, but if I wanted to move over to the right-hand side, um, I, can, I can definitely go ahead and click on uh, this arrow and, or use the bar to move over. Um, but if I just, if I didn't want to use my mouse, what I can do is I can just hit Control and then I can hit Page Down, and you can see it just moved me to Column T. So this is like your next page, um, and you can go back by holding Control and Page Up, and it, now you can see all the columns from A through S. So we covered uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We covered about eight shortcuts um, in this tutorial, and I hope that you can make uh, use of these shortcuts. Remember, the more you practice, the better you're going to get at these shortcuts. Um, because I use these shortcuts a lot, that's why I kind of know them by heart. But if you want to write them down uh, to begin with, that's always a great idea. Uh, well, thanks for watching this tutorial, and we will be bringing you other valuable tutorials pretty soon.